Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight on my recently repainted lemonade-themed uh, Oppressor Mark II. I figured this could be a perfect ride for the Lemonade Man, although I'm still in CEO in pajamas mode right now. I'm not really in lemonade mode for right now. Not going wild and crazy. But I built myself back up. I got down to about 6 million with all these sales that are going on, and now I'm back up to 8.85. .8 Would have been 9, except for a guy named Alan something who decided just to chase me down and blow me up. Actually, he didn't even blow me up. He just shot me out of the, uh... Did you forget about Simeon? Heck yeah. Um, shot me out of my darn cargo run there in my, my Speedo Custom. Unfortunately. And there's a whole other thing. There's a whole other video that'll happen later on. You'll see that in the... on the CEO Monday kind of things. I think I'll put this one up because it's relevant to sales. But now, alright, so I'm 150,000 short of... I was gonna say, hey, you know, I've got myself back to 9 million. No, that didn't happen because somebody blew me up. But 8.85 is more than enough to do what we need to do with what we need to do. So, alrighty. And you know, the, the worst part about that is, and you can see it, is that there was, I was chasing this guy in his Oppressor Mark II, and on my Oppressor Mark II, and we came across another guy. He, I kind of lost him off the radar for a moment, and when I came up on him, I, I even went to the map and clicked on him, and it still said the other guy's name. And so I put a missile into that guy. He was like, what? what are you bothering me for? I'm like, you thought you were the other guy. I'm terribly sorry. I even said, oops, sorry about that. And then he still yelled at me because he didn't read the text, I guess. And then it just, he left the game. So I feel bad for that other guy. I forget what his, what his name was, but it's, it's lost to history. Because at the, at the moment that I, was, that I went to attack him, I had a leg spike and I turned, stopped recording for a little bit and so it looks like I just stopped recording because I was going to be the bad guy, but that wasn't it. It was just, eh. any rate, that's a, that's a video for another time. But for today, today we're going to try and do something a little bit happier, a little bit nicer. We're going to do, we're going to do just buying cool things. And the first cool thing we're going to buy, if we go to the legendary motorsports, is the Shyster Deviant. Yes, now the Shyster Deviant, not... He's not what we would call the greatest of muscle cars so far. I don't know how it's going to shake out now that the uh, advanced handling flags are changed. I'm not expecting it to suddenly be the best car. But when I was a mere tyke, when I was a child, this was... You know, I, used to, I used to have a Javelin uh, Matchbox car. That was one of my favorites. Truth be told, when I was really little, I thought it was uh, a Mustang. And my dad has a, had a still actually he ha, still has a Mustang for the time being. It looks like a sale might be in process on that, but anyway, that was the reason I liked this car. And I thought, hey, now that I can have one, it was it was too much at the old price for a car that you know really was apparently very bad to drive. Thank you, Bruffy1322. But it might be a little better driving, even as long as it's not horrible to drive. It doesn't have to be the fastest. It can just be a cruise around kind of car. It wasn't as it wasn't as beautifully proportioned as the Sabre or as fast as the Dominator, but that didn't matter. In the 70s, the real connoisseurs and muscles were all about the Deviant. Well, now the Dark Horse has all grown up, and thanks to Team Shyster's groundbreaking remodeling, this tricked out wild-eyed stallion is all set to put a hoof through your skull. Gold. Okay, that's all good. I don't know. I think the Javelin is really one of the most, you know, one of the really the best sculpted cars. A little bit of Corvette to it, a little bit of Mustang. It was really, you know, it's, it's a nice set of wheels. Now we can do the time warp again. Actually, well, instead of doing the time warp, there is another sale that I was thinking about. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that? Not there. Is this also in the, uh... Clique. 
That's a good deal on the clique. I know I have a couple free ones, but I left the bow on the free one. I really did want another one to customize. We'll put that one. I don't know how much. I don't have that much room up here, so we're gonna put this one down in B1. Up. Oh, we have to. Where's where's some room? B2. No, we've loaded that up, have we? Come on, you know, we'll fit here. Now this garage is full. We still have eight million. That's a good deal. I mean, that's a good deals on those cars. The clique, I want one kind of tricked out for actual racing. But I'm not being silly with a, uh, a big bow on the car. Come on. Shyster Deviant. Should keep coming up like right. Did it say it was delivered? Oh, no, there we are. Is it downstairs? Yes, it is. Here you can see here are the my homage cars. This is an homage to my brother in law's. Oh, what's in the collar? Is a Hyundai Sonata that went over like 400,000 miles, and that was his actual license plate, which is just genius. This was a car I had in high school for the most part. My grandfather had one of these, my mom had one of those, and then these are all homages to my dad's Mach 1 because you can't really get a perfect 69 Mach 1 in this game. So that was as close as you could come for any of them. But let's uh, run down here. This. Let's look at the, the the color green it is. That's not really all that far off from the color of the, the car was. It was a little shinier though, a little bit more metallic. Why haven't we heard from you? Because I don't want to talk to you. So let's zip this down. And get it mudded up. How does it feel now? It doesn't feel blazing fast, I'll be honest, but it's, it didn't bounce into Never Never Land there, so. Again, yeah, not really planning on taking this on the track. It's just going to be a car show kind of cruise around town car. There comes a point where really in this game isn't the whole point just collecting a bunch of cars and driving them around. Obviously in a solo session because otherwise you'll just get blown up. Although I'm not in a solo, a solo session. You want me to perform? Funkification. Armor. Hey, we got to there without damaging it. Stops on a dime. Seriously. Front bumpers. I don't think my car had split. I have to look at it. I bet anything it was like that. At least is there a sick is there a secondary on this? Alright, let's leave it as a primary. Not funkified splitter. We'll just go with a primary old school kind of splitter on that. Chrome, chrome bumper. Do we want the plastic strip? They went through the effort of putting the plastic That's strip on. Beauty right there. Engine, obviously, rev it up. It's on sale. Side exhaust, stock exhaust is from the side. That does look funky. I don't think my I have to I have to dig the car out. It's in a box someplace. We'll get a look at it. We'll leave it clean like that. That's grill. Plastic grill. That's interesting. 
Oh, it definitely wasn't a phantom girl, though that looks... Classic grill. Let's go with the chrome slats. That's no, that's striking me. My job. memory buttons is carbon hood. It definitely had a big black intake on it. I like that, except it was a scoop hood. Except it had a, a it was you know blacked out as they used to do then. Carbon scoop. There you go. That would probably be as close to what my original car was. The whole hood wasn't blacked out, just the scoop. But that's as close as we're going to get to the vibe, I think. Oh, lights. I don't think we need to neon kit necessarily. Livery. I'm not going to livery, but I'll, we'll go through them. That is kind of nice. That gives it kind of a... The yellow pinstripe might be something that we're we'll, willing to do. It wasn't a striped up car. There's some nice stripe kits, though. We'll give it the yellow pinstripe for just a little bit of style. Wait, um... Reaver for you? No, nothing really. Let's just black like this. Yellow and black. Respray. Now this, primary color. There is a secondary. Metallic. Ooh, maybe. Now that's a carbon hood. We can't change the carbon hood on that. The car looks good in pretty much any color. But I'm going for nostalgia. Racing, no, no. That olive green. You see, it's not very different from the, the color that it came with, really. But there's not another. Yeah, so if we do olive green and then pearlescent it with a different green. Just to give it a little more brightness. Maybe it's a racing green. Bright green. That's the bright green might be a bit much. But racing green, yeah. Nah, I think we're getting the right the right vibe off of it. Or you think that's just two clashing greens? Dark green? Because it was a little bit more green than that olive. I also don't know if that's really cutting it. Racing yellow. Racing yellow might brighten it up a little bit. Or just too yellow. Race yellow, yellow, bronze, gold. Maybe a little bit of a gold touch to it. I kind of like that. Not sure it's, if it's exactly what I'm looking for. I might end up just changing it back to regular old olive green, but that that gives it a shininess that I I think would work. Let's do that. Secondary color. What is the secondary? Oh, that's interesting. Just the highlights on the car here. Well, we can. What we should do is chrome it out. And there you go. Give you a little bit of chrome here. Chrome on the secondary trim color. Um, I think graphite works for this car. Roof. Stock roof. Livery roof. Carbon roof. Oh, that's Mine, mine had a, a, a plain Jane roof, so we'll go with that. Spoiler, obviously we need one. We got the regular ducktail, smooth ducktail. Notched ducktail. I think the smooth ducktail, I don't think it was notched. Maybe we'll get, we'll get two videos out of this, so we'll end up getting a different... Uh, a smooth ducktail because you need some take make some change. Shall we slam it? Yeah. It's a funny thing. I'm I'm just not getting into the uh, transmission super transmission. You see more of those. Now you've got some juice. Give it an extra gear. Hopefully, it won't get stuck in gear. 
the wheels. All right, I have to change the wheels. That's wheel type, muscle, chromes. What would it look like? I think the Dukes would probably look most like. No, 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 the muscle freaks. That would look as much like a matchbox car from the 70s. Look, it's sharp. Uh, let's see, tires. Tire design. Definitely drag radials. Make them bulletproof. Tire smoke. We can leave the tire smoke old school. This makes me happy. This is pretty much one of my favorite Matchbox cars. It wasn't Hot Wheels, it was a Matchbox car. It was a definite, you know, if I can find it. I definitely haven't lost it. It's, it's around. I'll make a separate video. Okay, let's do the jump. Yeah, I can, I can tell you right now, just feeling this car, it is not feeling like it is blazing fast. Woo! But it looks good. It's pretty much everything that I kind of hoped, hoped it to be. And we got it back. What the heck? Why am I not pulling into the... Hello? There we go. What was wrong with that? That was just weird. I was going to move this up top, and I ended up needing that space for the clique. Maybe we can move, uh, we'll move the clique down. Okay, we're going to take the deviant and swap it for the clique. And by the way, while we're here, this is, um, that was my quote-unquote dream car. I actually dreamt about a maroon, uh, charger. You know, it was a long story. So that's another special kind of sentimental car that I just built up. This is a car, this is a black Pantera that used to be in my neighborhood as a kid. This is very similar to my, one of my favorite uncle's uh, Chevelles that he had when I was growing up. I realize that the Tulip has a more Chevelle front end, but that's a four-door. This is the two-door and has a better back. So uh, this is quite similar to the hearse that one of my best friends uh, has. He's, he's a, a funeral director. And those are the color of his horses. This is very similar to uh, the family van that we're currently using that is in for a transmission right now. Hopefully we'll get that back soon. And this one is an homage to my blue Windstar that, of course, we left in Florida because it hydrolocked itself in Florida after we drove it from Pennsylvania and had to rent a car to go home. And so there we have this stuff. Obviously, who doesn't love a white uh, Countach? These are my standards for doing office work, and you've seen all of these. Okay. Now we do have, I am at some point gonna mod up this, uh, this clique. At 9.30. Gonna mod up the clique, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I just want one to, one to have without the bow. Cause it is one of the, one of the better car, especially for stunt work. I'm gonna see how well it does on dual. It pulls faster times than my, uh, Dominator GTX, which I think was made for dual. But I'm gonna do that. Yeah, should we just do it now? You know, I just I don't have a plan for it. That's that's the only. Do thing. it. It might just be just the same color. Do it. You know, it might look exactly like this. Don't except, let your dreams be dreams. You know, put all the, the horsepower stuff into it. I guess we'll get that done. There's only. Two other purchases that I want to make today while things are on sale, and I have to switch characters for that. That's that's based on the Prime stuff. I'll probably put this in a different garage at some point. 
And the only reason I'm showing you the drive to the garage is I don't know that I'm going to survive the drive to the garage because we are in a public session. Look! Another Oppressor Mach 2. I would like to call them the Oppressor Mark Douche. At least it's insured. What's wrong with her now? I knew it. I knew that someone was going to fire a missile at me. As we got in there, repair the vehicle. Armor, bodywork. Remove side trim. No, I like the side trim. We don't want to completely French the thing out. I like the trim. Race brakes, bumpers, front bumper, classic bumper. I do like, let's see, let's see retro bumper, ooh, racing bumper, bespoke clique. I think you need the bespoke clique bumpers on the back. No, that's not the, uh, these are the lightest bumpers. The most ginger bumpers. Of course, we're going to make it a racer. Do we like to bespoke for any reason? No. Let's, let's, let's put racing bumpers on our front and back. That's a beauty right there. Chassis. Stock sport chassis. Okay, we could. We could do that. I don't know. I mean, racing bumpers, I guess, does make you go sport chassis, and then... We can still leave the trim on, though, right? I like the chrominess of it all. Engine. None of it matters for performance. Grill. Oh, yeah. Classic grill. Oh, the bullet grill, that, that works, too. But, I mean, that... This was the... Whenever I build a model... Uh, you know, model car of one of these, I'd... Remove hood. Ah, that was it. The bespoke hood straps match with the spoiler option. Horn, let's see, standard. Nothing's calling to me. Mirrors, racing mirrors, nah. Retro mirror. Yeah, let's leave the mirrors as they are for right now. Plate. Yellow on black. Black knight. Respray. I'm going to leave it red for right now. Spoiler. That's your only spoiler. Those straps. Now that's a custom job. And you need that. Trans. Now you can really manage those RPMs. Turbo. Wheels. I kind of like the look of these wheels. Let's let's leave that go. Uh, we do need to give the tires bulletproofness. This is the same stuff they use on armored cars, you know. Windows are good. We're done. We're done here. It's a mild mod. Ready for racing. Now the clique, you can tell immediately, is a little bit quicker. This feels snappier. And the Deviant.
He didn't even ran. He just suddenly a car. Suddenly a car. Look how much higher and farther it flies. Yeah, this this is a quicker car. Destroy the Phantom Witch. Why would I want to do that? Someone's doing plowed. Let them be plowed. Not my job. Not my job to play spoil sport. Office of Garage 1. We bring this in. So I've got a racing tweak. Yeah, I'll probably play with the look on this. I'll probably will get some different colors and stripes at some point. But for right now, I'm happy. Now, let's swap characters. Okay, just need you for a couple minutes here. Rusty, because there's another sale going on. This is, I think this is the Twitch Prime sale. Nah, really looking for an Ardent. They're, they're okay, got one. There you go. That's down from three million to basically one million. I'm not gonna go through the trade price thing. We're just gonna get that for a mill. Ramp buggy. Where the heck is the other one? Oh dear. And check this out for seven hundred. That's a that's a huge deal. Phantom wedge me. And again, this is this is the technique. You get something that's behind the paywall, people will buy it. Because I've already got the uh, garage. I got the garage for something else like this. But hey, it's too good a deal to pass up. I'm down from nine million to five million after all those sales. Back to the grind. And on that note, as my frame rate drops off to nigh on to nothing, this is your black knight. That's all I want to do. This is a, a quick buying stuff video that's i do that that's the, the the sales for this week up until the 19th of september so those are the ones i partook i partook in those are the reasons why there's your story for today and on that note this is your black knight have a great night LJT is every few minutes. What will we be in? Almost a little, almost a little bit. Yeah. Yay. Anything money. Why did it teleport me outside? And might as well pick up the yeah. Cheetah Classic while that's on sale. Mm. We'll get two. I always plan on getting one for Rusty Jack. I'm gonna make it an orange one, but how can you not have one? One in Don Johnson White and one in Classic Red. You just gotta. You just gotta. Come on. Come on. A little more. Right? I'm a slave to the sales. Yes, and I've got at least one in first class, so I don't have to worry about that sale. And that's right, I won the pink one. So, I mean, we got, now we got, we already had one of each of these. We're good. Golden. Woohoo!